This is Twit. Turns out that following in the steps of Facebook and Twitter, Google has become the latest technology giant to confess that it accidentally stored G Suite Enterprise passwords unprotected in plain text on its encrypted on its encrypted servers. Um, I have a link in the show notes to their blog post. The blog post published um, last Tuesday was titled "Notifying Administrators About Unhashed Password Storage." This was posted by Google's uh, Suzanne Frey, who's the VP of Engineering for Cloud Trust. She wrote, Google's policy is to store your passwords with cryptographic hashes that mask those passwords to ensure their security. I cut out a bunch of her explanation about hashing of passwords because we all know about that. She said, however, we recently notified a subset of our enterprise G Suite customers that some passwords were stored in our encrypted internal systems unhashed. This is a G Suite issue that affects business users only. No free consumer Google accounts were affected. And she wrote, and we're working with enterprise administrators to ensure that their users reset their passwords. We've been conducting a thorough investigation and have seen no evidence of improper use or access of the affected G Suite credentials. She says, in our enterprise suite, uh, in our enterprise product, G Suite, we had previously provided domain administrators with tools to set and recover passwords because that was a common feature request. The tool, located in the admin console, allowed administrators to load or manually set user passwords for their company's user users. The intent was to help them with onboarding new users. For example, a new employee could receive their account information on their first day of work. For example, so we already have a an admin set password in it. Uh, and then also for account recovery. The functionality to recover passwords this way no longer exists. She said, we made an error when implementing this tech, this functionality back in 2005, thus the 14 years. She said, the admin console stored a copy of the unhashed password. This practice did not live up to our standards. And certainly Google knows about hashing passwords. So yes, just a mistake. She says, to be clear, these passwords remained in our secure encrypted infrastructure. So the point being, although they themselves were not hashed, the the servers themselves were encrypted. However, of course, the concern is that employees who would have access to the server content unencrypted would then also have access to the passwords in plain text. So she says, this issue has been fixed and we've seen no evidence of improper access or misuse of the affected passwords. In addition, as we were troubleshooting new G Suite customer sign-in flows, we discovered that starting in January 2019, so just the beginning of this year, we had inadvertently stored a subset of unhashed passwords in our secure encrypted infrastructure. These passwords were stored for a maximum of 14 days. This issue has been fixed, and again, we've seen no evidence of improper access to or misuse of the affected passwords. We will continue with our security audits to ensure that this is an isolated incident, and so on. So, uh, you know, as we know, this can happen. Uh, uh, we recently talked about Facebook, <laughs> quote, discovering logs of unprotected passwords for hundreds of millions of its users, both Instagram and Facebook. Uh, and nearly a year ago, Twitter reported a similar security bug that unintentionally exposed passwords for its 330 million users in readable text on its internal computer system. So I guess we we have to hope that our whole for for the sake of our whole industry and that our that our whole industry's legacy behavior 
uh, will be fixed. So like, you know, ev like everybody will know you just don't do this. You hash passwords, um, you know, th that we cannot mistakenly have code that leaves passwords lying around in plain text. Um, uh, and of course, hopefully what will, you know, where we will end up being is adopting systems eventually like, you know, the squirrel, uh, that we'll be looking at, uh, will very shortly in some more detail, uh, which in the first place gives websites no secrets to keep. It's one of the, that's my, one of my favorite slogans for squirrel is it gives websites no secrets to keep. They get a public key that they don't even have to keep secret because you, there's nothing malicious that can be done with it. So, uh, I, I have a feeling we will be migrating in that direction sooner or later.